Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you didn't know, now you know. And guys, the cheer season is officially over. As much as I'm sad to see it go and I'm gonna miss my kids so much, I need to get my life together. And I finally have some time to do it. I'm finally not, eh, I lied. Actually, I was gonna say I'm not living out of a suitcase for a weekend, but we have staff training that I have to go back to Orlando for the beginning of next week where I'm gonna need to repack and live out of a suitcase for like the fifth weekend in a row. But it's fine because things are slowing down. I will have more time. And I don't know. We just need to get our life together, reset everything, have a fresh start going into this month. And you know how we're going to start doing that? Going to get a fun drink because if I'm being honest, I just feel like I need to get up and get out of the house or I will quite literally fall back asleep or lay in bed all day because I am exhausted after the weekend and I just know that I need to get up and get the day going so it's also triple star day at Starbucks which I am the target audience for any kind of deal Starbucks wants to do because I will play into it and I'll be like you know what you're right it is so worth it for me to go to Starbucks right now I've also been craving a matcha lemonade so I need to learn how to make those at home but I have no idea how so we're gonna go get a fun little drink at Starbucks and then the hard work begins, but not yet. The good thing is I don't have to go to the gym one singular time this week, which I'm very excited about. Although Colby's trying to talk me into coming to stunt with her so she can get ready for tryouts, but we'll see if that happens. I don't know if that's gonna work out, but today is Tuesday. The plan for today is to reset my life in the apartment. The plan for tomorrow is to reset my life on a very relaxing scale because Justin booked us a couple massage at a really nice hotel in like downtown Miami for my birthday and then we're just gonna hang out at the hotel all day the pool the beach use the amenities and I'm very excited for that I need it so bad after just like weekends of carrying my heavy backpack all weekend I could use a good deep tissue massage so I'm very excited to just reset my life um you know I'm kind of in the mood to listen to some like old school Taylor Swift I'm not like the biggest Swifty I'm more of like an old school Swifty back in the day like teardrops on my guitar I know every single word to I like specifically watched the lyric music video over and over and over until I learned it all but like her new stuff I don't really listen to as much um old Taylor Swift songs look at that someone already made a playlist let's see Matcha, all sold out. Okay, am I gonna have to go to the far one? Does this one have matcha? Come on, that's all I wanted. I'd never get it anymore. That was all I wanted. Come on, come on. Okay, they have it. I'm gonna have to go on a long drive right now for no reason. I've been seeing on TikTok they don't have raspberry syrup anymore, but it lets me add it here. Oh, no, it does say raspberry syrup is sold out at the store. Would also be like a good substitute for that. We'll see how this is. I did the ice matcha lemonade with a strawberry acai refresher base to substitute. I don't know what that'll taste like. I can't believe I have to go to the far one right now, but ordering ahead so it'll at least be ready. Okay, we picked up the goods. Thank goodness there was no one in the drive-thru because I realized I placed an online order and I was gonna have to go in to pick it up. And I look crazy right now because I did not plan on getting out of my car. So luckily, no one was in the drive-thru so I could just pick it up through there. Okay, my, uh, venti matcha lemonade, add strawberry base. Never tried this before. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I cannot get over how good this is. There's like only the good parts of the matcha. There's like no grassy matcha in this. Phenomenal. Probably like no, well, to be honest, are there any health benefits in a Starbucks matcha anyway? It's probably not the best quality, but like tastes good. All right, time to go eat. And next up on the list is, it is May, well it's May 2nd now. I have zero idea what the month of May looks like for me. At all, like I have not even tried to think about it once. So we need to make my May calendar because I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing this month. And I think I have a lot to do, so that's an issue. And we're gonna take a little break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, which is Native. 
So Native products are aluminum-free and paraben-free, and they're also vegan and cruelty-free. And they're just filled with simple and effective ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. I got three deodorants from them, and I think I've used most of them, but the coconut and vanilla one is my absolute favorite. It just smells so beachy. And then I got lavender and rose, which is a little bit more of like a feminine, girly, fresh kind of smell. But then, I don't think I've ever tried this one out, and it's vanilla and sandalwood, and it is just so like... I don't know how to explain it other than just like a really, really good scented candle that like is subtle, but smells so good. I don't know how to describe scents. I know one of my worries when trying to make the switch was like, is it gonna work as well? But Native is actually odor protected all day with an up to 72 hour protection. Native also just launched their candy shop collection and I wish I would have picked a scent from there so bad so I could try it out, but they're inspired by like all your favorite childhood candies, like gummy bears, sweet cinnamon hearts, sour berry belts, and strawberry and vanilla taffy. And they don't only have deodorants. I've actually never tried their body wash, but I am so excited to try this. It's in the Coastal Oak and Amber scent, which of course also smells absolutely amazing. And I absolutely love when companies go the extra mile. Look at how cute. I really hope this focuses, but there's a little heart imprinted on the deodorants. So you can use the link down below and use my code GABBY4 to get 20% off your native order. This offer is available site-wide, but only for a limited time. So make sure to go check them out and let's go back to the video. Did I spend 30 minutes just making the calendar template? Maybe, but is it so cute? So it's worth it? Absolutely, look how cute. I was very stuck on what I wanted to do because for April I did flowers, but I did a different kind of flowers. I was like, I don't know what else to do, but April showers bring me flowers. So I was like, I have to do flowers. But I always get asked how I make these calendars and I just use Procreate on my iPad and I made like my own template. So I just literally made everything myself, but I always post the blank copies at the beginning of the month on my Instagram stories if you guys wanna use them for your own calendars, so. I need to actually do the part that is the important part and fill out what I have and when now, now that the fun part's over, but at least it looks pretty. Okay, I think this is everything as far as I know. So we got some free time in here because Justin's out of town from here till the 10th, so I got lots of time here. And then we have super busy with tryouts and evaluations, but then we go on our staff cruise, which I'm so excited for. And now here I'm noticing that I have this entire week off. Practices begin here. Why am I tempted to look into, like, going on a trip somewhere here? You know, th this would have been better if I could have planned it beforehand. But, like, where can we go? I want to go somewhere. As I'm like, oh, my God, I can't wait to stay home. I've been gone so long. But, like, I mean, I'm literally going on a cruise the weekend before. So maybe not. But I'm tempted. Maybe we'll look into it. Um, it is now 11.23. I think I want to get an hour in the sun from like 12 to 1 just because it sounds relaxing even though I will be outside a lot tomorrow. But I think in the meantime we need to, I'm still fully packed from this weekend. So I think we're going to unpack, start a load of laundry and then, you know, can't do anything till the washer's done anyway. So I might as well go spend time in the sun. Okay, we are unpacked, suitcase is zipped back up. I do need to put my suitcases away, although I do need to also get it back out this weekend. So maybe I won't put it all the way away, but actually, mm, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, Justin's like 20 minutes from home. He's going to pick up Panera for lunch. So I don't think I'm gonna get out to the pool today, which is fine because one, I have a lot of work I wanna get caught up on and two, we're gonna be out in the sun literally almost all day tomorrow. So I probably don't need extra sun. We'll save that for tomorrow. I have no idea what I want from Panera. I think I'm in the mood for a salad, but I also am stressed because whenever I order a salad, I like completely customize it myself on the little like kiosk in store. So I don't want to make him order like a ridiculously complicated order, but I'm, I'm not hungry right the second. So I want a salad that I can just like put in the fridge and get it later when I am hungry. Long time, no talk, but we have been very productive and like literally nothing worth filming at all. But did the laundry, clothes just came out of the dryer. So I'm gonna catch you up on everything while I fold everything up to put it away. But 
I'm actually proud of myself. I was way more productive today than I anticipated. But um, Justin came home, we ate lunch, and then he was only home for like a little over an hour, so we just hung out while he was home. And then after that, I filmed a bunch of little brand deals I had to do. I started editing the world's vlog, which I've been dreading, which obviously it's up by the time you're watching this. But one, I feel like it's gonna be sad, and two, I just don't know how to end it. And I'm struggling. I haven't gotten to that part yet. I literally only did like the intro and the beginning montage because I have no idea how I'm gonna end this video, but but it's so weird having Justin go to the gym and me not going to the gym, which I'm hoping will be a reality coming this next year on a few days of the week. Really wanna try it. You guys know I tried to do that this year and then I decided against it since we didn't end up moving or anything. But with LJ, I'm just in the gym so much that I really wanna try to limit my days during the week in the gym, so I just have other time to focus on my other job, get work done, like the job that actually pays the bills, which is this one. And I just feel like I've been so limited with what I can do because I'm in the gym so much. And it feels so weird. And this is only night one. Like I have the rest of the week off too, but I don't know. It feels very weird being home and he's not. But the other thing that I've been debating on is I need to go grocery shopping and I cannot for the life of me come up with a dinner idea. I don't know why. I'm normally like so good at this. I feel like I normally decide dinners, I would say probably like 75 to 80% of the time. Like I just bring ideas to Justin and most of the time he's always down. So it's like never an issue. But I asked him basically all day and like for some reason I cannot come up with anything. I think it's because we've been trying to do like low carb, I guess technically at night, not for like any specific reason other than we eat so late because he doesn't get out of the gym until like tonight he gets out at nine, which isn't as bad as normal. But by the time we eat dinner, it's always closer to like 10. And we just don't want to eat like heavy meals that just sit in our stomach and we immediately go to bed after. Like we have no time to digest. So we've been loving eating just like lighter, healthier meals at night. And it like, honestly, I felt great about it. But I feel like that limits our options, one. And two, because if we had Panera, I just had a salad for lunch. So I feel like I'm craving like a hearty dinner but I feel like he is not. So I'm like torn on trying to figure out a dinner plan, but I need to go to the grocery store in like the next hour or so. So I really need to figure out what we are making. You know what we're actually gonna do in this week off at some point? Clean out my drawers because you see this? It's, it's not closing at all. So I need to be cleaning out all my Top Gun clothes because it's about to be the start of a new year where I'm gonna get a million more. And I, this is like sh really stressing me out. I cannot close this drawer at all. I don't know what to do right now. I physically cannot clean all of this out right now, but like, it's not closing at all. All right, just showered, cause that's another thing that's weird about not going to the gym. Obviously, like I'm a night shower when I go to the gym, cause as soon as I get home, I just feel disgusting and I shower right away. But I'm like, if I don't go to the gym every night, I wonder if I'm gonna be like a morning shower or a night shower. I don't know. Anyway, no one cares. Um, I showered. We decided on, we're gonna do, well, I'm gonna do cook, but hibachi, chicken and shrimp, and onion and zucchini, like hibachi meat and veggies, just no rice, which I think is gonna be really good. And I think I'm gonna pick up like, I think Publix has like fresh shrimp in the back. So we're gonna see, we're gonna like really chef it up tonight. We're gonna try. So let's go to Publix, grocery shop. I don't know if we need anything else. Mission accomplished. And we're home and cooking. And I think today made me realize that I am ready to be in my stay at home mom era because I am loving this. I, there's something so therapeutic to me about just like hanging out at home putting on a YouTube video, cutting up veggies, cooking some dinner, which is so funny, because if you knew me as a kid, I didn't cook anything. I never wanted to cook, never wanted to really like do anything for myself. Like my parents were always like, you better find a man that just does everything and takes care of you because they're so used to doing it forever. But like, it's so funny because I'm like total opposite of how I was as a kid. Okay, I don't want to say total opposite. There are my moments where I'm like, I don't want to get up from the couch. I'm like, Justin, will you give me this? And like, he's great and literally does everything for me as well but like something about cooking I love and just the thought of like being home while he's at work 
and I just get to cook dinner by myself, just enjoy this time, and then he just comes home to dinner. Like, I'm in my housewife stay at home era, and I'm loving it. Anyway, I have the veggies sauteing right now, some butter garlic soy sauce. Those are basically done. I'm gonna transfer those, and then I think I'm gonna start with the shrimp. Cook that first, and then cook the chicken, and then like mix it all up back together, but. I'm just having a great time right now. Tell me that doesn't look professional. That looks so good. Um, I've come to realize though that before I enter my housewife stay at home era, I need an apron because I keep, not like ruining, but like every time I cook and it's not that I'm like messy, it's just things just like splat out from the pan and I'm always getting sure it's dirty when I cook and I hate it because sometimes like oil is sketchy to get out and I don't want to ruin any clothes. So I think I need to invest in an apron. I think that'll be like the final, the pivotal moment between me and my housewife era. But Justin just got home, so we have no idea what we're gonna watch. We have like nothing, no shows. We just watched like Aladdin the other day. That's the point where we are, where like we really have nothing to watch. So I have no idea. If we're gonna start a new show or, I mean, it is somewhat early. We could probably watch a movie tonight. Maybe we'll do that. I don't even know what movie, but. I'm excited to eat. This looks so good. This is definitely probably too much food, but... Not for me, suckers. Welcome home. What up, gangsters? <laughs> but I did only eat a salad today, so... Um, hey, something about... party people, I'm back. Yeah. Not gonna was... do this. Like I, I haven't know. been in any of these videos in so long. You haven't. Because I haven't, I know. I want to get back into my, like... I want, I'm going to be posting, like, two or three videos a week. I want to be doing that now. I hate that I'm only doing once a week. I don't remember which one is which. Chat! That one is yours. But something about like the sushi spicy mayo is way better than the one that comes in a bottle. Even though to be honest, they probably go and like pick it up from the aisle and just like separate it. And here I am thinking it's something different, but I swear it tastes better. Oh, I put my spoon, I was gonna use my food in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just gonna eat, watch something, and then I'll pick this up in the morning. Uh oh, you tell me what we're doing tomorrow? Yeah. Did you? I did. Canceled. No. Yep, because no. of an attitude. <laughs> Who has an attitude? You. No. I don't have an attitude. Yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> Me too. And good morning. We are up in Adam because we didn't, well, not that we didn't plan because we, we knew we wanted to do a massage in the morning before we spent the rest of the day there. But like traffic going to Miami Beach is going to be awful. So we have to leave extremely early like an hour early actually more than an hour early to make sure that we have enough time to like valet the car get to where we need to go because i'm not cutting in to the massage time just because we're late so we're about to head out the door it's like 8 30 right now this is alpha number one wearing this from revolve i have like a couple different bathing suits and outfits packed just because i don't really know what we are doing throughout the day so i just brought options but i cannot wait to just lay on this massage table i'm very excited okay Let's load up the car. I got my, this is the best beach bag or just bag in general. Oh, I love it. It fits so much. It's so nice. So it's all backed up and let's go. Guys, that was phenomenal. I'll talk about it more in a second, but wow. That was everything I needed. And then we went into the sauna and I thought I was dying for a second. It felt so good. Oh, wow. No, that was literally perfect. Okay, we're gonna get changed. We're gonna go get some breakfast and wherever we are there, I'll update you on everything. But like, 12 out of 10, morning already. Wow. We made it to the beach. How was your massage? Um, 12 out of 10. Yeah, we were both like... like it was like a, not a chiropractic visit, but it was just like a massage. Yeah, we did it was like deep a tissue. It was like a, there is almost, okay, well, every time I get a normal massage, I'm always like, dang, I wish they would have done more. So, like, she was getting in there, and there was a point in time where I was going to ask her to go less, but I was like, I know I'll regret it, that I'm just going to deal with the pain, because then the relief after was amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely worth it, and then we went into the sauna for a little bit, and now made our way to the beach. We got front row chairs and umbrella. It is a beautiful day out. Yeah, no, this is nice, actually, you know? It and, like mm-hmm. And the beach is like specifically hotel access, so it's not like the crowded part of the beach at all. We're just gonna be here for a very long time, and I'm loving it. 
I haven't picked up this camera in so long, so I can let you guys know what our day consisted of. It is 547, <laughs> and we just left the hotel, as you can see. One, I was terrible at putting sunscreen on. I, you can tell I put it on. I just clearly was not good at it because I'm very splotchy. But today was phenomenal. Just so relaxing. The hotel vibe, like it literally felt like we were on vacation and like we're in our backyard. So it was 10 out of 10. Yeah, today was a lot of fun. It um, was. Just like very easy going too. You know, just from like the massage and then just getting some food, going out, being on the beach. The chairs were really comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like I was so thankful that the chairs were as comfy as they were. It probably won't be the last time we'll do this because it was, we're already talking about possibly coming back next week when his mom's in town. Because it was that nice. And it's just so, it's so nice because it was such a secluded part of the beach. Where like normally you come down here, you go to the beach and there's just people everywhere. It was so not crowded and like just having our own <laughs> chairs and everything. 10 out of 10. But now we're heading to Lincoln Road Mall. We're going to walk around to certain stores. We want to hit Kith. We've never been to the Kith in Miami. We went to the one in Hawaii. Right? That's where we were. Yeah, and we loved it. Love and I don't know why we've never been to the one in Miami. So we're going to check that out. A few other stores. Probably grab, like, ice cream. We ate a really late lunch. So I don't know what the plans are oh, for dinner and everything. Lunch. But 10 out of 10. Like, today was, like, the perfect day to just be, like, done with cheerleading. Have a break. And just spend today the way we did. <laughs> Pick it back up right tomorrow. I know. Well, you. I got the rest of the week off. That's very true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we made it Oof. back home. Is there some? Got some sush for dinner. Sush, sush. And today was everything I needed. I literally felt like we just escaped the real world and made it seem like we were on vacation today. And I oh. loved every second of it. Why did they give you both the sauces? It's not fair. Oh man, I don't know. It was a pretty long day though. We left the house at like eight something and it's now almost 11. We were finally back home, hanging with the dog, who has so much energy, huh? You took nice long naps all day. Is there a reason why I'm not sitting over there? Um, I just had to get the food. I'm gonna move over there. Yeah. Here, find let's, out which let's, one's let's spicy mayo and which one is um, shrimp, shrimp sauce. sauce. California roll had cream cheese and car burgers. I wanted my sushi sake more now. But, you got any last? Words about today? Um, this is definitely shrimp sauce, I think. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Well, today was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed just the massage and yeah. um, laying out on the beach. Just the really comfortable chairs. I got some color. The yeah. pool was great. Food was great. It just like, honestly, a 12 out of 10 day, I would have to say. And it's like a Wednesday. It feels like a Sunday. Like, I cannot believe that was just... Like, we literally just didn't think about anything else for once ever. Just lived out today. So, mm -hmm. I'm exhausted, though, because the sun drains me. So, I'm going to end this video. We're going to watch something. I don't know what we're going to put on. And go to bed. So, hope you enjoyed these two days of my life. Trying to get my life back together. And now that your living's over, and I finally have time to live. Um... I think that's everything. So, hope you enjoyed. Give it a big like, comment down below, subscribe to me, post notifications on. All that. I'm going to be vlogging way more. I want to be trying to post at least two to three times a week. So, lots more content coming. So, make sure to subscribe, do all that so you can be the first one to see it all. And follow the journey. Yeah. And that's everything. So, I'll see you in the next video. I'm